this Albania travel vlog, we go on a Dures Beach getaway. We explore Dures beaches and the city, get stuck into plenty of delicious Albanian food, and share our thoughts on this popular Albania beach destination. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And we're coming to you from Dures, Albania. Good morning and welcome to Dures, Albania. So it's a beautiful morning in Albania. We've we're right on the beach here, perfect views, and we've got an apartment overlooking the beach, so we're gonna give you a house tour. So, John is not a morning person, he's still asleep. The bedroom's got lots of storage space, which is handy. I really like that light fixture. I really like the aesthetics, it's got a nice big couch. It's got that kitchen there. So we've got a smart TV. This was listed as having a streaming service, but it actually does not have an account. You've got to use your own account. Now we've got the bathroom here, washing machines very handy. Got a nice rainfall shower head as well as that other fixture. It's a, a very nice compact apartment, beautiful location, beautiful views. Not one, but two balconies overlooking the water, which is quite handy. So this is the start of our day. Okay, I'm up now and it's time for our morning swim. So one of the joys of having an apartment right next to the beach is you just need to walk outside and you're presented with this. So let's, let's go find some space. Now look, one of the things about Duras Beach, which uh, like is a bit different to what we're used to is that every inch of sand is just packed with seats and sun lounges and everything so it's hard to get a bit a bit of sand to yourself but we're here first thing in the morning and we'll be able to find some piece of land just to to park ourselves but you can see as far as the eye goes there's uh, there's lounges everywhere anyway but one of the good things about this beach is that uh, it's it's really quite shallow so you can go out really far anyway let's find a spot and Go for it. One of the best cheap eats in Albania is Burak, and we got ourselves a couple of Burak here. They were a hundred for the uh, spinach Burak and then a hundred and twenty for the meat Burak, and they're really big size. It looks delicious and nice and warm as well. We also went past a fruit vendor and we got some really cheap cherries and apricots. So it was 150 lek per kilo for each. That's a bargain. Mm. First apricot I've had in a very long time. It's really nice. So we got this whole bag. Can you see all that? So I think that's probably about half a kilo and it was a hundred lek, which is roughly around one euro. So that was very, very cheap. And we found in this general area of the Balkans, cherries are really cheap. So in Australia, you'd be paying, I don't know, five, six dollars or more, or five euro or more. But here, it's like less than two euro a kilo. It's really cheap and it's great. Burek is our Balkan go-to food. So it's a pastry. And then on the inside, you've got either meat or spinach and cheese. It's very delicious, very cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is only about a euro. Yeah, so it's great value and a great snack to have on the go. So we've just found another spot on the sand. Where we were originally was dry piece of sand. However, it was in front of a hotel and uh, we got asked to move on, which is a little bit annoying. So there's really not much space just to sit down without having to pay like 10 euro for a sun lounge. So we find that a little bit annoying. If it was me, I would limit the number of beach umbrellas to maybe two or three rows so that you can have at least a little bit of a stretch of sand before you get to the waterline. Okay, we found a spot, we found a a patch of sand that isn't wet so 
uh, and this looks like a perfect spot to have a dip. And the water's nice. Yeah, the temperature in the water is pretty good this time of year, which is really nice. So it's not too much of a shock to the system to get in the water. Yeah, and as I was saying before, I really like that uh, it's really shallow on the beach along here and you can just walk out for ages uh, before it gets deep enough, uh, you know, head level. So apparently this area is really popular with families because it is so shallow all the way out and it really does have a lot to offer families. We saw some kids clubs last night and all, obviously all these beach umbrellas are perfect for families as well. So we haven't been to many places where we've been this far from shore and still waist deep. The beaches aren't the only attraction of Durez. There are plenty of things to see and do in the centre of the city. So we walked into the city from the beach area. It was about half an hour and we've just arrived at our first destination, which is the Roman Forum and Byzantine Market. So it's right in the middle of the city, surrounded by buildings and by a children's playground. And it's really interesting that there is excavation work still going on. We're now at Shadavanti, which I believe is like the town square. So behind me you've got the I Love Dura sign, uh, there's a cultural centre to my left, to my right you've got the town hall, and then directly behind me is a really cool looking mosque. Behind me is the Great Mosque. Now it was first built in 1938 and during the communist era in Albania all religion was banned. So this was converted into a youth palace and it was only restored after the communist era ended in the 90s. Now it looks really new and that's because it was last reconstructed in 2006. One of the things to do in Jurez is to visit the Jurez Amphitheatre. Amphitheatres in Roman times were a sign of the economic prosperity of the city and Duras was a major economic power centuries ago. So this was built at the start of the second century. Entry to have a closer look is 300 lek per person. Behind me is the Venetian Tower of Duras or Duras Castle. Unfortunately right now it's getting reconstructed but I'm sure it's going to look great when it's done. So we've had a nice morning looking at the sights of Durez and right now we're on the promenade. So it's a really nice pretty area. Just to take you around. Now there's not too much shade cover and it's the middle of the day so it's pretty hot in early June. But there's a bit of a beach here however um, it's not a sandy beach and I, I think it's probably still just a work in progress but I reckon it would look really good with a layer of sand uh, and I'll definitely get in that water right now. Yeah, so we're going all the way to Copacabana Beach which is a little bit further along here on the waterfront um, and I'm looking forward to getting in the water. Yeah, and before that I'm looking forward to eating some lunch. So let's do it. For lunch we went to Mema's house, a cosy traditional Albanian restaurant very close to the Volga promenade. We had a beautifully decorated antipasto plate for starters. It was full of vegetables, cheese, olives, as well as some meat and kofta. For our mains, we had a grilled vegetable plate and Albania's national dish, tavi kosi. Well, I've just broken into the tavi kosi. It's got a really nice brown crust on the top and then inside is that creamy yogurt and then some really big pieces of lamb. And that lamb is just so tender, so I'm eating it with a spoon and it just melts in your mouth. We had so much food and it came to 2,000 lek for the whole meal. Great value. So what have you thought about Jurez, Albania? Not too bad. I. I was a little bit surprised by the beach. Uh, I guess even though it's a massive beach, it's quite hard to get any space, even before the peak of the peak season. I think 
it's definitely something that some people will love and some people won't. I think it's quite polarizing in that way. So if you do enjoy just going to the beach, having a good book to read, sitting on a sun chair and just having an easy swim in a calm bay every once in a while, then this is perfect for you. If you like just having a cocktail, going to restaurants, that sort of thing, and being amongst a lot of people, then Jerez is perfect. If you like having a lot of space to yourself, you like a lot of natural scenery, the serenity. Um, serenity, then this probably isn't the place for you. Overall, I, I'd say to come to Jurez is probably more like a day trip, maybe a weekend. I wouldn't spend more than that here unless you really just want to get through a lot of reading and listen to music on the beach. In terms of overall rating, we give Durez two and a half buckets out of five. So it is an affordable getaway, it's a nice calm beach, however it's dragged down by the over tourist development and cluttered beaches. Yeah, so there's a lot of potential underneath all of that tourist infrastructure, there's a beautiful stretch of sand. As John said, it's a really nice calm beach, there's a lot of natural beauty here, it's just hidden away behind all of the high rises, all of the deck chairs. We hope you liked our video about Jurez, Albania. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and leave us a comment. So next week we're off to Vlor, Albania. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.